Building a jaw dropping survey for your customers doesn't have to be complex. Let me show you how cool the surveys are on Survey Sparrow. Let's go jump over to my desktop. Hey, what's up, everyone? So, this is Survey Sparrow, and it gives you several options to build your surveys, all the way from classic survey to, for example, a chat survey that you can embed on your website or share via link. And you can have a really professional looking survey that your customers are going to love. So, it's user friendly, it's nice, it's beautiful, and it just makes it really professional for your business to have these surveys, right? You also have off offline surveys. So that means that if you are in an exposition or maybe at a ranch out there where there's no internet, well, you can use these and it's a really great option. You don't need internet for these, right? So there's several options here. You can go ahead and start the classic survey. You can test it out using the templates that they have available. You can start from blank or you can write with AI. I'll show you the AI one in a bit. First, I want to show you the chat survey that I really like. For example, on this case, I've embedded it on my website and I can go ahead and test it out and kind of like a chat, but it's a survey. So it fits both needs and it's really user friendly for your customers. Now to build that, it's super easy, all right? You can go ahead and start from blank and just add every single question that you need, or you can use a template and go from there. For me, I love saving time and I bet you do too. So templates are a great option. For example, they have several templates available. Let's go ahead and use this one, Website Feedback Survey Template. I'll go ahead and select it. And Survey Sparrow is going to allow me to test out this template without having to jump into the actual builder. So in case I don't like it, maybe the questions are off, the colors I don't like, I can use another template and customize that one to my liking. I'll just use this one for testing purposes. And it's going to open up the Survey Sparrow uh, Builder. In this case, you can see right here, the options available. Let's go ahead and create the survey. And then we have questions available already built here because this is a template. Now from here, I can go ahead and customize these questions if I like, but if I want to bring in new questions and I want to get rid of some of these, I go ahead and click on add a question. And there's several questions available that we can bring inside our survey, all the way from simple text to email to ratings to dates, and uploads, etc. We can just go ahead and bring inside a question in case we don't want to use the ones from the template. So in case we want to use, for example, a yes, no, I'll go ahead and select it. And it's been added right here. Now I can type in my question really easily. I can use AI for help. I can use emojis. I can use variables. So that means that if a question is after the name, I can actually use a variable here to add their name and then the question. So it customizes it a bit more. It's more friendly per se. All right. And you can use variables for several things. Okay. You can also select the options here for the image or video to help out with the question. And in this case, this is a yes, no. And we have our options down here for this. We have logic. If we want to use conditional logic, which is uh, more advanced, but it's pretty much easy and straightforward to use once you get the hang of it. All right. And we can make this required if we like. And the same thing goes for each one of these questions that we can bring inside of here. Now, in this case, I can go ahead and drag it wherever I want that question to be. And if I don't want to use it, I can just go ahead and delete it since this case is just a test, right? Now, there's several of these available in the templates, and I really like templates because we get the idea of how we can use this and straight use it by customizing the question to our needs. Now, once you're good to go, there's several options available like design that we can change in case your brand, for example, doesn't use orange. Maybe it's red, blue or whatever color you can change all that right here. There's also themes available that we can just use here and bring it inside in case you like that, right? Then there's also the global variables. You've got your languages in case you want to build this in different languages. We can go ahead and translate it here with different languages. The settings for the configuration for this notifications and the print survey. Now, once you're good to go, we can go ahead and integrate this if we need to. Several integrations are available. We got workflows. We got webhooks to send this out. Advanced API. We can go ahead and go to share once we're good to go. We can share this via a link, which is super easy and straightforward, or we can use the available options for sharing. Now, the one I use, for example, in this case, chat, I use the embed option. And then we have the embed options right here. I can use, for example, an auto triggered, user invoked, inline embed, and then I get how it's going to preview on my website. And then I get this code where I can just bring it inside my website. So that's a really neat feature that Survey Sparrow has to build chat surveys, which I really like, right? Now, the next one I want to show you is the classic survey, but we're going to use AI with this, all right? We can use templates if you like or start from scratch, but in this case, we want to use AI. So let's go ahead and tell it what our survey is about. Here we go. So I have a cake business in this case, and I need to know what they thought about the cake they purchased, right? And I'm going to generate the questions and it's going to do its magic with AI and it's going to generate questions for me automatically that I can start using right away. So let's get a few seconds. Oh, 
Here we go. We have the questions available here. How would you rate the overall quality of the cake? What flavor of cake did you purchase? Etc. All based on what I told it I needed to know, right? So let's go ahead and preview the survey. Here we go. I can start the survey and here we go. I can go through it, test it out. If I like it, I can go ahead and customize this, right? Once I select that, I go into builder mode. So just like you saw with the chat survey, I have my questions available here that I can modify each one of these. Remember, these were generated automatically with AI, which saves me time and sometimes even give me ideas of what I should be asking if I have a cake business. So AI helps me out with the, those ideas. And again, I can add the questions here that I need. I have all these available options for my questionnaire. And again, you have your options for integrate, share and results, where you can also share via link, share it via embedded on your website. And you have several options available there, right? Now, once you start getting the idea of this, it's just super easy and straightforward to start building your surveys here on Survey Sparrow. So if you want to check it out, I do recommend that you check out the link in the description and grab your account right now. And you can grab a free trial to test it out and see if it's the right fit for your business or not. And that's a wrap.